I'm back. <laughs> all right, so I got a Jack and Jane story for you all. All right, so listen. This one comes from a chick. All right, so her and her homegirl. Her homegirl is married. Okay, keep in mind, her homegirl is married. And they've been best friends for a long time. However, her homegirl has a dude on the side that she know about. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool, I guess. You know, whatever. I don't know. To each his own. That's not the point. So this is the point. So our Jane, she was out and she seen her homegirl's husband out with another woman. But the place she got caught at, well, she didn't get caught. The place that she was out at was the hotel room. And so she just so happened to be in the lobby getting ice or whatever the little hallway is, getting ice is what she was saying when she seen the homegirl's husband and some chick, you know what I'm saying, going in a room together. Crazy part is he seen her, she seen him, but she didn't tell her best friend. And the reason why she said she didn't tell her best friend is because she know her best friend got a guy on the side and she was just like, you know what? I don't feel that I should tell her because her husband is cheating. Obviously, she's cheating. So with that being said, you know, I'm not going to be doing her a disservice by not telling her it shouldn't matter. Now, we all know how that goes. We all know how that goes. When your homegirl man get caught slipping, it's usually a situation to next time you go over their house, he's going to be looking at you if he's there. He's going to be looking at you and he's going to be wondering if your ass done said something. That's number one. Two, if he don't wonder if your ass done said something, then he's already making up a lie in his head. So whenever he see his girl, when he get home to his wife, whenever that may be, he already making up some shit in his head like, Listen, babe, I had to take my homegirl Keisha to the room. She was drunk and shit, and I wasn't going to bring her here because, you know, you and Keisha don't get along. So I took her to the room, made sure she got in the room and stuff so she could just sleep it off, and I called her Uber home. Like, please understand, this man is coming up with some type of excuse because, number one, he know you are the best friend. So being that you are the best friend, there's a possibility that you may or may not say something so with that being said um she's wanted to know what to do what to do in this situation she don't know if she should tell her best friend or keep her mouth shut and y'all already know my favorite line is i don't know nothing about nothing and i've told y'all a million and ten times it is more than okay to know nothing about nothing and the reason why it's okay to know nothing about nothing because you don't get in the middle of stuff when somebody start asking questions i don't know when somebody ain't asking questions i still don't fucking know when somebody come to me and they even got you know they, they just start talking and i hear it guess what i ain't heard shit i don't know nothing about nothing meaning i didn't see her husband at no room None of that. I don't even know she got a side nigga because I don't know nothing about nothing. So with that being said, that's my point of view on it. I've learned to stay out of matters like that, okay? And the reason why you stay out of matters like that is because it always backfire on you. Because nine, uh, nine times out of ten, he's going to be like, oh, by the way, you know your girl tried to holler at me too. No good damn where that best friend don't want his little ragged ass, okay? She ain't wanting his little ragged ass, baby boy. I promise you, she don't want you. But he gonna go back to his wife and he gonna make up some bogus ass story because it's gonna be very uncomfortable next time, you know, she's at his house. So the wife gonna be like, well, shit, what's going on? And then so he's gonna get in her head. And then all of a sudden, she's going to be trying to check her best friend on some shit like, so what the fuck going on with you and Jack? So why you acting like you scared or something? You ain't been acting like that. You been coming to the crib, going in the refrigerator. You been pouring your own drink. You know what I'm saying? Like she is going to take it to the extreme because he going to jump in her head. So if you even think or you even know that you got a friend that's going to overreact on some shit, tell her. On the other side of that, if you like me, you don't know nothing about nothing. I ain't seen shit. I don't know what kind of car he drive. Hell, I'm hoping he ain't see me. 
You know what I'm saying? Because ain't no telling. I just, hell, I probably wasn't supposed to be there. Now, nah, but I'm just, I'm playing. But seriously, in a situation like that, um, help my Jane out. Help her out. Let her know. Should she tell her best friend? You know, that she seen her husband at the room with another chick or she, she just let it ride, especially knowing that her best friend got a side dude. Like, y'all help her out. Help her out. Don't worry. We got plenty of these stories for you today. I'm coming at you back to back, back to back, okay? But for now, this is our Jack and Jane story, guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'll be checking back in with you guys soon.